so far here today has been open excellent. Here's a blitz now on Martin is in trouble. it out there to Ben Sim. How about the day for Rashawn Gary, Greg? He's got a three-sack game. He's got two forced fumbles, and he recovered that fumble. That was actually a turnover. And so a three-sack game for Gary. And considering how the year started, recovering from that ACL injury last year, he was on a pitch count earlier in the year. He was only playing a handful of snaps each game. And then today on Thanksgiving, three sacks, and he's been an absolute menace. It's an hour's love, another blitz. Picked up ball over the middle, and it is gone. Another tight window. But held on by Malik Keith, who had one catch his whole season. He's got three today. And something you have to... The ball placement of Jordan Love today. Look the His ability to put the ball on the body of his receivers, KB. The second you extend your hands outside of your framework, the ball is high or it's low. That guy's draped on your back. That's where you see him rake your hands and break the ball. But his ability to protect the receiver contested catch by putting it on his numbers he's done that time and time today So the Packers will bring on the punt team. So Daniel Whelan to punt it away. A couple good stops by this Lions defense. I know the scoreboard looks like they've given up a bunch, but remember the journey of getting to 29 points, multiple failed fourth downs, a bunch of turnovers. This defense has bowed up when they've had to off sudden change. They have. Their catch called for it. And inside the 10, that's where the Lions will start with 11.52. Montgomery again, up the middle, sticking with this run. Out across the 23-yard line. 
Well, we talked about it at the beginning. The Lions with an 8-2 record. They've got a real chance to try and get home field in the NFC, right? The Eagles, obviously the best record in the league, 9-1. Actually, the 49ers and Cowboys close behind. But the Packers in the hunt, the bottom of that screen, they hold on today. They're 5-6, and six, and they've got a very real chance to be a playoff team, and no one thought that a month ago. Exactly. How many people thought that was possible just a few weeks back? Here's Tom. Protecting this time. Fires a strike. It's caught by James. Field speed with the cough winner dealt with some some issues early on injury suspension but as they get him acclimated in this offense he brings an element down the field they haven't had yeah he's got three NFL touchdowns Greg they've all been over 30 yards exactly that was a 38 yard here's Kyle got another low throw he's trying to get it to Gibbs but threw it into the dirt and it's second down I wonder if you're Ben Johnson, just what you're feeling good about calling without the pressure on Goff. It's been constant from the Packers. And really, it's coming on all downs. You know, typically you see defenders pin their ears back, kind of like Rashawn Gary did on that last fourth down strip sack. But they're bringing pressure. They're running run stunts, line stunts on first and second down, almost treating them like a typical third down plan. Second and ten. Something about trailing by two scores in the fourth quarter that gets Jared Goff rolling. He puts this one square between the run, between the ones, and I like this one. They've gone up tempo in drives. They've had their best success. They've got to finish here in the red zone, knowing they need two touchdowns and a two point. Give it to Gibbs. Touched a couple times, but not much there. Again, it's Jonathan Owens who had that fumble return touchdown before. Jonathan's wife, someone you may know, Simone Biles, who four-time gold medal winner. Now Jordan Love just waits. Lions trying to play comeback kids again. Second down and eight. Take over. Up 15. 